Hey everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Gary Campbell. Today we're going to be discussing a medication known as Flurazepam. Its brand name is Dalmain. And before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. And quickly, if at any time during this video you find this information to be valuable, please consider leaving a like on the video as it would really help me with the YouTube algorithm. So first, what will we cover in this presentation? We'll start by talking about how fluorazepam works. We'll then discuss indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, followed by contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe fluorazepam. We'll then discuss examples of dosing, followed by side effects. So how does fluorazepam work? Well, fluorazepam is a benzodiazepine derivative and hypnotic agent. It's effective in acute or chronic medical situations that require restful sleep. In terms of indications or reasons we would prescribe fluorazepam to a patient, we often see it used in the treatment of insomnia. With respect to contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe fluorazepam, we wouldn't give it to a patient who had a hypersensitivity to fluorazepam, other benzodiazepines, or to any other component of the formulation. We also wouldn't give it to pregnant patients. Now what about dosing with fluorazepam? So in the treatment of insomnia, we would typically see 15 to 30 milligrams at bedtime, if the patient was debilitated, we would typically use 15 milligrams orally at bedtime. And for geriatric patients or elderly patients, we again would use 15 milligrams at bedtime. But this medication is on the Beers criteria, so it's best to avoid giving this medication to the elderly population. Now, as with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using fluorazepam. So I'll go over some of those here now. Some patients may experience ataxia, which would be a lack of voluntary coordination of muscle movements. Dizziness is a possibility with this medication. Some patients may experience a hangover effect, lethargy or sedation. Somnolence is a possibility, as well as blurred vision. Apnea or cessation of breathing may occur. Some patients may develop drug dependence or have withdrawal symptoms. Now, a more rare but serious side effect would be leukopenia. That's all we're going to talk about today with fluorazepam or dalmain. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. That's it for today, take care.